Hey guys, it's me, Hamza the Spartan 117, and I'm again doing this video again for like five times already. It's been ruined so many times because it's stupid cam, cam studio wherever it's gone. I hope it's gone itself, but oh well. Alright, so today I'm going to be pretty much making a tutorial on how to, pretty, on how to, um, use Flight Simulator X multiplayer, and I got this video request from, um, I hope you guys can see the name right here, but it's called um, Mr. Henry Penry, and it's his YouTube account. And I pretty much got a video request from him. I'm probably gonna include a link in this uh, sidebar about it, about, um, to his channel. So in this video, what I'm pretty much gonna be covering is how to use Flight Simulator X multiplayer, all the features of it, and how to fix that um, annoying feature in it where um, it keeps saying uh, you've been disconnected and you've probably been logged on to another computer so I'm pretty much going to be showing it so if you want to do Flight Simulator X multiplayer the first thing you have to do like absolutely is have to have it activated otherwise you can't do Flight Simulator X multiplayer and I'm pretty sure most of you guys have it activated anyway so let's go straight down to multiplayer now you're going to be given like pretty much two options if you want to join. If you want to go into an internet game or a local network game. I've never done local network, so I'm just going to stick with an internet game and I'm going to pretty much going to be showing you guys how to do it. And on internet, I always on it cuz it's uh so many players. Oh, it's a nice day outside and I'm wearing a cast. Huh. All right. So, to continue let's go create a new account so this is pretty much what you would have to do you'd have to create an account from GameSpy so you pretty much select a player name whatever you're gonna type in an email right here then uh, you're gonna confirm it again then you're gonna enter your own password and then you're gonna confirm your password then you're gonna click create a GameSpy account and you'll get an email from them and you just need to confirm it and you'll pretty much be allowed to use it and uh, if you forget your password you type in your email and it'll email you your password so now to continue we're gonna be showing I'm gonna be showing you guys um, what it's like and hopefully that error will show up so I can show you guys how to fix it I'm hoping it'll show up usually I don't so as you can see there's like a whole lot of players in Flight Simulator X and it keeps uh, loading up stupid truck all right, it keeps loading up. Shut up. All right. Sorry, I'm just getting distracted because of how many times my video has been ruined and I'm getting pretty mad. So, you you can see there's so many players. I've said that like how many times? All right, I don't want to say it again. So, you're going to be seeing this big multiplayer name. You're going to see this huge multiplayer name thing. And then you're going to be seeing uh, your YouTube, or not your YouTube, your username whichever one you've chosen I use my YouTube account name god this video is messed up and uh... so it's gonna be in big green letters just gonna be showing your user account name so that's pretty much it now you're gonna see um... lobby and uh... this check mark things if you want to see only um... Uh, games that are in your region such as like I'm in Canada if you want to see games only in Canada where the host is in Canada then click it but I usually don't because there's like so many people so and there's like always such a huge variety of games now the other thing which is uh, the lobby now you can choose what type of game you want to join in if you want to join in an airliners game or if you want to join in uh, helicopters ops or if you want to join in like free flight flight training bush flying it doesn't matter so as you can see I've got this issue and I'm sure most of you guys have gotten this issue before so I'm gonna be showing you guys how to fix it so all you guys have to do is very simple it's very quick forget it's there click your password and type it in sorry I'm typing slow I'm wearing a cast and it's very annoying so now as you can see if it did not log me out and you'll see all these games okay so you're just gonna click close and please remember it's gonna take you quite a bit of time like so for me it took like 60 times or something it took quite a bit of time so just keep doing it and doing it and doing it but it'll pay off it should pay off 
Alright, so as I said, we were in the lobby, so now you can click a game, and you can join it, of any type of game you want. Any type, doesn't matter. And uh, when you click your game, it'll show your status, if it's already in progress, or if you're flying or whatever. Then it'll be a small little description about it. Then what type of weather they're using, if they're going to use real world weather updates, or if they're going to use like a custom weather, like weather themes, like... Um, Winter Wonderland and stuff like that. And then it'll be showing the host ID, the host username. So uh, for this game, this is the host user uh, ID. And the host aircraft is what he'll be flying or if he's in a tower. So apparently this guy's in a tower. Well, as you can see, it's, an, uh, as you can see, it's a website game. So of course, it's going to be a tower most likely. So that's pretty much the description of it. I hope I'm not taking too long. Usually when I make a tutorial, they take too long. So now you're going to click, um, you can see a whole bunch of stuff. Like, you can join in a game, uh, sign out, and you can see, um, you can connect directly to a game. So if you have their IP address, like, say you want to join your friend's game, and you don't want to search for it online, he'll give you your IP address. You type it in, and, uh, you pretty much find the session, and you join it. And then you can either create your very own session, which type you want to do. If you want to do a free flight or a mission, I always have it on free flight. You create a name, then it'll be, um, you can create a description. So I did just for fun, come fly with us. Then you can create a password, which is optional. And then you would uh, create confirm it if you really want to add a password so no one else can join. And if you want to make this uh, available on the internet, you must click these three things. You must click the first one, make the session visible to everyone, and on the internet via a game spy and in your local area. So that's what you must do if you want everyone to see it. Or if you want to make it just private, just like no one else can see, then you could click make this a private session. Then you would click next. You would select what you want to be, a pilot or an air traffic controller. Remember, if you have the standard, you won't be air traffic controller, only in deluxe and up. Then you can select your location, your um, aircraft. This is all for host a session, remember. And then your weather and your time and season. And your ATC name, whichever you want to do. It's going to be the exact same for when you join a game. Except it'll ask you for when you select an airport, it'll ask you if you want to be near the host in the air or be or the airport that's closest to the host. So I always do airport closest to the host. So that's pretty much it. I believe I've showed you guys how to join, create, and connect directly to a game. I've showed you guys how to fix that error. Remember, pretend as if it's nothing there. Click your password. Keep typing it in. And um, press enter if it um, if it logs you back out. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Just keep doing it until it works. Until you see all these sessions, then you click close and close all of them. And that's all you pretty much have to do. I wish I could find that video that was on the internet on YouTube. It was a very helpful video. If I find it, I will put a link in the description. And uh, I don't even know that guy's YouTube name. He deserves quite a bit of credit for finding it. That's how you would pretty much fix that issue so again this video is pretty much dedicated to mr henry penry that's his youtube name i'm gonna be putting a description uh... i'm gonna be putting a link in the description to his channel check it out i'm not sure if you guys will like it or not but um, remember to comment rate subscribe to me him uh, a bunch of other people i don't want to say and i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial consider joining me tech guy and two exclusive members in high sky entertainment and see you guys later. Uh.